In scene five of The Glass Menagerie, it is spring. Laura and Amanda are cleaning up after dinner. Tom is reading the newspaper. Amanda again hassles her son, this time about his messy hair and smoking too much. Cigarettes cost money that could be used to pay for a night school accounting course. Tom says he would rather smoke. Back on the fire escape, Tom slips into the narrator role and explains that the Paradise Dance Hall, with its music and glittering chandelier across the alley, is the only excitement for young men and women like him. He alludes to a changing world. Those like him who wished for adventure would soon be faced with World War II. Amanda joins him, commenting that the fire escape is a sorry excuse for a porch, seating herself as though settling into a swing on a Mississippi veranda. Mother and son wish upon the moon, and Tom announces to his mother he has invited a friend from work for dinner, granting her wish for a gentleman caller. When she finds out that the dinner is for the next evening, Amanda freaks out over the preparations they have to complete, including laundering table linens, polishing silver, washing windows, choosing attractive dresses for Laura and herself, and on top of that, making dinner. She and her son discuss the young man, James O'Connor. Tom explains that James O'Connor is studying radio, engineering, and public speaking at night, indicating to Amanda that he's ambitious. Amanda already sees him as a perfect husband for Laura. But Tom mentions he hasn't told his coworker Jim about Laura and brings up her differences. He mentions that his sister's bad leg is not as important as her introversion and existence in an imaginary world of glass animals. But his mother dismisses his concerns and brushes down Tom's cowlick before he takes off for the movies, and she calls Laura outside with her to wish upon the moon. Laura enters happily and asks her mother what to wish for. The fire escape symbol in this scene represents the path from the illusionary life of the Wingfields to the freedom of the real world outside of their apartment. Tom becomes the narrator with an understanding of the real world when he stands on the fire escape, not the subservient son walled in by his mother's world when he's inside. Reflecting on the dance hall chandelier, which is made of glass, like his sister's tiny animals, this large piece reflects life outside with contemporary music and people dancing, whereas the glass menagerie represents his sister's isolated, fragile world inside with her old music and inability to dance. In her concern for Laura's welfare and refusing to be truthful about Laura's leg disability, more for Amanda's benefit than Laura's, Amanda cruelly allows her daughter to be embarrassed by it, to view herself internally and externally as defective. Because Amanda is ashamed of her daughter's physical differentiation, she just ignores it. If she truly cared about her daughter more than her own limitations allow her, she might have shown her how to accept it.